first things first, a lot of you are like, hey, where's the dog? Here he is. He looks very unhappy about being in this chair. Cooper, are you very unhappy about this chair situation? All right, bye-bye. Now, now you're going to be excited, aren't you? Okay, so this is going to be a pretty, pretty straightforward, quick video. We're just going to visit an idea that I see in the comments every now and then. Uh, well, more than every now and then. And something actually I wondered myself, and that is FDM printing, specifically a fan, versus SLA or resin printing, the same fan. Do you gain performance by resin printing the fan over FDM? And this kind of goes back to the fan video I made where I took a golf ball and a fan blade and pushed them together and basically made a dimpled fan and a non-dimpled fan. And it was a pretty straightforward, simple fan design. We just ran it with smooth blades and ran it with dimpled blades. And we didn't notice any difference. Well, a lot of people commented, the reason you don't see a difference is because the FDM process, the layers, if you will, are dirty, aerodynamically dirty, and they're just not gonna give you a performance gain from dimples. And they said, if you printed that same dimple fan in resin, you would see a performance gain because the surface is much cleaner than the FDM surface. So that is what we're gonna try today. I've reprinted the same fan on my Elgu Mars. It's not perfect, but it is a resin version, uh, much smoother surface than the FDM one that I'm currently running right now off the Prusa with Prusa Mint Silver. And we're gonna compare the two. We're gonna run this for 45 minutes on the 7700K at 4.9 gigahertz, take it out, plug this in, and see if there's a difference between the FDM fan blade or the SLA fan blade. Should be interesting. I actually haven't done this yet. We're literally running it now. So I'll be back with you as soon as this is done. And we're back. So the temperatures after 45 minutes, 87.2 on our average. Room temperatures, a little toasty at 25.3. So there is our FDM numbers. We're gonna run the resin blade fan now and see if we can uh, do a little better. So I'll be back in another 45 minutes. Okay, so we're done. And how did we finish? Well, this time around, the average temperature was 87 degrees. Room temperature did bump up a little bit to 25.7. Uh, so essentially, not really much of a change. Uh, I'm gonna say that as of now, it doesn't look like there's any difference between using FDM and SLA um, for printing fans. Now, let me know if you guys think you know why there's no difference with this model. Maybe it's just this model. Maybe we need to try some new geometry. I am printing fan down there in resin as we speak to uh to see if there's any more performance to be gained from comparing that one but as of now i don't see any difference between resin and fdm till next time peace